R.P. Singh is national spokesperson of the BJP. Kasturi Shankar, actor now joining us. Kovei Satyan is spokesperson of the AIADMK. George Kurian is a political analyst. And Suman C. Raman, also a political analyst. R.P. Singh, uh, Udenidhi Stalin is not backing down. He's saying he will uh, deal with it legally if cases are filed against him. He will deal with it politically. He will go to the people of Tamil Nadu. Uh, he is saying that all he said was opposing caste discrimination, which according to him is Sanatan Dharma. And that's why he's saying that it needs to be eradicated. How are you going to counter this? Zaka, what was the, uh, the seminar on? It was an eradication of Sanatana. And he spoke on that. It was not off the cuff one of remarks. It was a thought of process, which was, I mean, as per the process, which was given on, on a stage. And I am uh, I'm saying with complete confidence, that this was part of the Mumbai agenda, one of the Mumbai agenda, hidden agenda in Mumbai, that let's go back and do this. And, and that's how Stalin was assigned for this, that you have to go this and do in your state. And then we'll divide the society into castes and we'll talk about all this. And what are they talking about? I mean, who was Valmiki ji? Valmiki ji was Shudra. And, then they, and he, he, he was the one who, who uh, wrote the Ramayana, but yeah. they are questioning Ramayana itself, they are questioning <coughs> Sanatana itself. Now let me give you a little bifurcation of how do the caste system works in Tamil Nadu itself. In southern uh, Tamil Nadu, they go to Pallavas Dalits for vote and they seek vote on their name. In, in northern they go to Vanayars and, and talk about Vanayars, they don't want to talk about Pallavas there. In western they talk about Gondwas. And then in central they talk about Thewars. I mean, this is, I will send you details of their speeches. How do they go and give speeches? Asking what on caste. Okay. But when it suits them. But here they have to, here they have to build up a national debate. And then for a reason. And then immediately after his uh, speech, Mr. Karthik Chandran came in support. Which shows that it was a pre-planned thing. Otherwise, why would Karthik Chandran come in support and said, yes, whatever he said is right. Even KC Venugopal uh, said, what, whatever he said is right. And I was okay. just going through what you were saying, that which party has said so. Give me a second. Which party has said, so, uh, 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 has said what uh, in context to this? I told you what KC Venugopal and, and Karthik Chandran, you said about Kamal Nath. Kamal Nath is saying so because he is looking for a vote bank. He is a safe Kamal Nath who said, Hame last election said, we should have a vote of Muslims. We should have a vote of Muslims. If we are with Muslims, we will win. We will win. This was Kamal Nath's statement, which is a sting operation, which okay. is in social media and was run on very, many various channels. Another, except, another second. Sir, sir let, let, me, let me open this up to other, other really guests also. To... Let, let me open this up to other guests also. Kasturi Shankar is joining us. Kasturi Shankar, the problem is nowhere in Sanatan Dharm, at least the term Sanatan Dharm, <laughs> Is there any mention of caste discrimination or untouchability or anything of that sort? The word Sanatan means eternal and the word Dharm, of course, means law or philosophy. Uh, it started first being used in the Bhagavad Gita and it simply refers to the knowledge of the soul, which is eternal. Why should that be a problem to the DMK and to Mr. Star Udenidhi Stalin? He's not backing down from what he is saying. He's saying, I stick by what I'm saying, I'll face the legal consequences. Is this a complete misinterpretation slash ignorance or is this deliberate as the BJP is saying because they want to stoke caste divisions? Uh, yes, the DMK historically has benefited and its entire political career has been based on dividing the people of Tamil Nadu, uh, playing a lot of demagoguery, um, identifying a vulnerable minority and uh, victimizing them, um, making them the, can you please close the door please, uh, making them this, the target, uh, so to speak, of all the evils that plague society and then promising to get rid of them. I talk about the Brahmins who form a micro minority in Tamil Nadu and DMK and its parent organization, DK, um, and its uh, uh, great leader, Peria, they were very vocal about Brahmin uh, eradication, but they very beautifully couched it and said, we are not opposed to Brahmins, we are opposed to Brahminism. It is the same kind of code that we are hearing today. Sanatana for them, 
for dmk sanatana especially for udyanidhi and the surrogate organizations that organized the sanatana eradication conclave uh, it is a code for bjp it is a code for anybody who is hindu and right wing it is a code for anyone who may not have any uh, complaints with brahmanism or with brahmins right so when he said sanatana he didn't expect such a big outrage such a big uh, backlash because he didn't think it was going to be equated with hinduism he thought everybody no is no going what, to what, what, one second one second Here, here's where here's where i differ if he made this mistake without understanding what the word sanatan dharm means or what its <laughs> connotations <laughs> are no no once again uh, and didn't expect this kind of backlash surely when the backlash happened he could have climbed down and said okay i didn't understand this fully i'm sorry i apologize or i i would draw my comments <laughs> no he is doubling <laughs> down what does that mean why is he doubling no, down zaka zaka he has stepped down if you notice yesterday at um, uh, several, a couple of days ago he was talking on stage and he said sanatam is dengue corona it has to be our uh, completely destroyed eradicated yeah. right but now he says i'm not talking about genocide i'm not talking about hindus at all i'm not talking even about people who, who are uh, um, part of the dharma i'm only talking about caste discrimination sati all these uh, uh, you know uh, ills that plague the sanatan no, society no one second let me ask let me ask uh, uh, sumansi raman do, do you get that impression let me uh, let me go across to our wall here uh, sumansi raman do you get the impression from whatever's happened in the last 2 or 3 days that udayanidhi stalin or the dmk are backing down or clarifying or trying to clarify from what he said on saturday or are they doubling down because i don't get the sense uh, that uh, he's trying to uh, he's trying to play it down or he's trying to he's trying to clarify uh, so please explain to our viewers what is the sense that you have got uh, from what he said and b i'm coming back to the question that i asked kasturi shankar 90 95% of the population of tamil nadu is deeply deeply religious and deeply hindu why would any politician alienate that entire uh, you know majority community it makes no sense um okay zaka you asked quite a few uh, questions let me first agree with you i don't see him as having uh, you know climbed down from his original statement in fact he has said i stick to uh what i said he has not at any point of time yeah. uh, expressed regret or uh, uh, you know though he has uh, given an explanation but that by no means uh, me uh, is uh, is a climb down in my uh, opinion the second point is that the um, the damage that this is going to do is not to the dmk the dmk has, has this is not the first time that a representative from the dmk or a senior leader has been speaking like this eradication of sanatana dharma has been what they have been speaking about for decades not even years so this is not a surprise and they know their vote bank in tamil nadu and therefore um, you know they this is not going to impact their vote bank at all if anything it may help solidify that vote bank by appealing to their uh, to the fringe elements within their uh, ideological network so they know that the damage is going to be what one second so much so much so much so much no no what, what i want to understand is when you say it will consolidate their vote bank the dmk's vote bank is not an irreligious vote bank the dmk as a, an ideology may believe in rationalism may believe in you know n- n- not believing in gods etc uh, uh, no, you know no, not no, believing in religion no no but but but, but their vote bank the people who vote for the dmk are extremely religious too so why would uh, the the heir apparent of that party insult his own uh, people his no, own voters uh, see uh, zaka i think you have we have to understand the political dynamics of tamil nadu the dmk has a core vote base of around 35 to 40% and that 35% of, of that vote bank 15% is minority the minorities vote overwhelmingly for the dmk and they are the reason why the dmk is in power this is not me saying it the dmk themselves leaders have themselves acknowledged at meetings that we are in power only because of you so therefore they feel that this is not going to affect their core vote bank is also made up of devout hindus 
but they are politically affiliated cadre of the party so therefore they feel that this is not going to cause much of damage to their vote bank okay where it will cause damage is outside tamil nadu and that who yeah. will face the heat the congress will face the heat and i think the congress has blundered today by not categorically distancing themselves from this statement okay. by the wishy washy statement so, that uh, kc venugopal made i think that they are they are digging a hole for them so so let me ask kovai satyan you know uh, as sumanth was saying in tamil nadu this is not creating the kind of fires that it seemed to be creating in the rest of india on twitter etc yes the bjp has opposed it uh, i believe the admk at least uh, your leader eps has not said anything yet uh, we will see if he does officially put out a statement but you know it's not like buses are getting burnt and people are outraged and you know the whole state has come to a standstill why is that i mean if if udayanidhi stalin has insulted 90% of the population of that state by saying what he said then why aren't you seeing uh, uh, on ground the kind of ground swell of emotion that you would uh, you would expect if let's say somebody said this in north india yeah zaka i am surprised that many of them are missing the larger picture the behavior and act of udayanidhi stalin in the recent days or resultant of his father's desperation mk stalin is desperate to elevate his son to a leader status so all the tried and tested methods of karnanidhi stalin which has given some results is being tested upon udayanidhi he is just a puppet in the hands of few who are trying to set a narrative and elevate him as a leader and this is not the first time dk and dmk people have insulted the majority community out in open it has happened many an occasion to quote a few the biggest scapegoats are the brahmins the grandfather karnanidhi coined the term if you see a snake under brahmin hit the brahmin first not the snake so tamil nadu has seen and have witnessed many such events many such statements so udayanidhi statement is not something new and even a common man in tamil nadu know that udayanidhi doesn't have that intelligence and acumen to talk about philosophy or talk about sanatan dharm or talk about any beliefs and rituals in a particular hindu uh, community he doesn't have that with him but it is a desperation of mk stalin who wants to elevate his son as a leader so that the baton can be passed on to him these kinds of uh, incidences are happening the person who said he knows a secret to get away with neat the first signature will be the neat now after 2 and 1/2 years he is inviting ai admk and asking us to lead and asking us to take the credit after the protest and he suddenly says that let's go for a hunger fast to get away with need and the comments on this hindu sanatan dharm on an event hosted by dk dravidian kalagam it is an atheist wing it shows that he is been directed by someone who is desperate to push him and elevate him as a leader acceptable okay. by the majority of the tamilians